Hey, good morning, church. It's great to be with you guys again. I, I'm so proud of our team that puts together these morning devotions for our church and for others that are, are tuning in. As a matter of fact, our listening audience or watching audience, since you uh, see us on YouTube, it is, has been growing. And so we're glad to be able to be a part of all that. And uh, people are working behind the scenes and in front of the camera and uh, a lot of different things that are going on to be able to do these for you. So today's my turn and I'm really glad to be able to be with you this morning. This coming Sunday, we're going to be in the book of Jude. Um, we'll be there for a week, maybe two weeks, and then we'll start the book of Revelation. But there, there's something uh, that's extremely interesting about this little note that uh, Jude sends out to the entire church. He says, I wanted to write to you about this thing or that thing or the other thing, but the Holy Spirit moved upon him and said, no, you're not going to write about our common faith, but what you are going to write about is is contending for the faith. And the reason uh, was given is just because there's a lot of bad guys out there. There's false teachers that have crept into the church. Well, there's a lot of different things that we need to be doing. He says, you contend earnestly for the faith. And that's in verse three. So right off the bat from the greeting, he starts out, this is what we're gonna be doing. I'm talking to you. He's not saying, I, I want you to write your pastor a letter and tell him to contend for the faith or that evangelist and have him contend for the faith, but you contend for the faith. And actually, he says earnestly. So it's something that we're to take you know, to heart. We're to do it. All of us are to be involved in contending for the faith. Oh, by the way, let's make sure that we understand what he was saying. He said, the faith. It's not just my faith or your faith or some kind of haphazard thing. It's the faith that Jesus Christ is God incarnate, that he was born of a virgin, that he died on the cross for my sins. Um, it should have been me. We, we all get that, but we need to be involved in rolling our sleeves up and contending. Actually, what is contending? Well, it was a it was an athletic term, and it was in reference to wrestling, of all things. We need to take this contending for the faith. We, we need to be defending the faith and, and sharing the faith, um, and we need to take it to the mat. And that's how important this is, especially in these last days that you and I are living in. So we contend for the faith in a positive way, in a negative way, and I'm going to share with you in a practical way how to contend for the faith in a positive way that we're to contend for the faith by sharing our testimony with people, to uh, witness to people, to uh, support the good guys. Uh, there's pastors out there and there's Bible teachers that are out there that are doing a great job. And from their, their position, from their pulpit or whatever it happens to, to be, uh, they're contending for the faith, they're rightly dividing the word, and then you and I have an opportunity to encourage them, to support them in a variety of different ways. And so that's one way that we can contend for the faith. Another is a negative way. And that would be that we are withholding support from the bad guys, from the guys that are not rightly dividing the word or that are spreading heresy or doing something really, really crazy. Like last week, I sent out a note and a little video to all of the people on our worship team and said, we're not doing Bethel music any longer. Now I love, I, I love those songs. I mean, there are some really great songs, but this is what Bethel did just recently they decided that they were gonna cast out the demon of racism. Now, that would be really nice if you could actually do that, um, by uh, using a chant from Lord of the Rings. Really? Uh, nothing biblical about that. As a matter of fact, they had a wizard staff and they were pounding that on the ground and they did it several times and had their entire church doing that. Yeah, that is just absolutely ludicrous. Actually, it... it Jesus was falsely accused of casting out demons by the power of Beelzebub or Satan or the chief demon. You know what? That's exactly what Bethel just did. And so they crossed the line. They, they may be writing good lyrics, but it's obviously that they're not following good common biblical sense. And so we just can't do that any longer. So in a positive way, we support the good guys. In a negative way, we don't support the bad guys. And so, you know, it just makes sense. Now, 
in a practical way is to live your Christian life to the fullest, to be Christ-like and to see the commandments that have been given to us in God's word and to follow them. And remember that when we do that, his commandments are not burdensome. Actually, he says that he'll make it light because he partners with us by the power of his spirit. So those are things that we need to keep in mind, that we need to contend for the faith in a positive way, in a negative way, and in a practical sense. And obviously, there's others that are out there. You know, in 3 John, we just went through that uh, yesterday and um, last Sunday. And one of the things that we picked out in there that we focused on was uh, to support missionaries. Uh, why? Because they're contending for the faith. And so I'm not out there, and you're not out there, but they're there, and so we can support them. And so it's a great opportunity for us to positively, to negatively, to practically, and then just realize that there are things that we ought to be doing in our effort of contending for the faith. There's a lot of contending for different things going on. George Floyd, uh, justice for him. Uh, he died while in custody of the Minneapolis, uh, Minnesota Police Department. And, and so that's a righteous thing to be contending for. You, you and I could be contending for uh, the unborn. Uh, I think that's a righteous thing. But even though that there are good things to be contending for, the one thing that we're instructed in the Word of God to contend for is the faith. And so we ought to be doing that. We can contend for a lot of other things, but we must be contending for the faith. Yet, we find that as Jude goes on through the remainder of his little postcard to the church, he describes the false teachers pretty accurately. Um, at the very end, in verses 20 through 23, he gives us some practical things to be ready to contend, to be contenders. If you're gonna contend in a foot race, you better start running right now and building up that endurance. If you're gonna contend in a, in a marathon, you better start running a long way so that you would be able to contend for that. So to equip us to contend for that, he gives us some really simple and practical things that we ought to be doing. He says, beloved, build yourself up on your most holy faith. Well, that means that we need to be in our Bible. Why do I say that? It's because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And so we need to set out on, on a reading program to read through our Bible from cover to cover. He says you need to be praying in the Holy Spirit. Now, that doesn't mean to throw up a quick prayer now and again. It means to spend some time, like to go into a prayer closet, kind of, um, at least mentally, and just sit before the Lord and, and, and just begin to pray. Ask the Holy Spirit to lead you in prayer. You're going to be amazed what you start praying for if you will ask the Lord what he wants you to be praying for. He says, keep yourself in the love of God. Well, that's gonna be something that we're all striving to do as we are following after what God has called us to do. That we're rightly applying the word of God into our daily life. He says, looking for the mercy of the Lord Jesus Christ into eternal life. Boy, we're gonna chime in with John and say, hey Lord, come now. And the days that we're living in, we're ready for the Lord to rapture the church, but some of our neighbors aren't. Some of our family members aren't. And although we're looking forward to that, we need to be also contending for the faith while we're here. And on some, he says, have compassion, making a distinction. So we can just so easily get perturbed and wash our hands of a certain relationship and he says, but you know what, you, you need to get in there. Roll, roll your sleeves out. Uh, on another, he says, I, I want you to pull them out of the fire. I, I want you to, 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 to save that individual. 
we can be so upset with someone that called themselves a Christian all these years and they're backsliding and we've talked to them and talked to them and prayed for them or whatever it is, but nothing seems to be changing right now and, and we can just say, okay, I've had it. I've done all that I can do. But when you're contending for the faith, you're gonna find one more thing to try and one more opportunity to take to save that person from their own dilemma that they're getting themselves into. Hey, I hope this morning's devotion was encouraging to you to get out and to contend for the faith. Come Sunday morning and we'll go through the entire little letter that uh, Jude has written to all of us. God bless you guys. Have a wonderful day in the Lord. See you soon.